Hey guys, Chiminga here. Welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. I've got another custom story for you today, guys. Hopefully, now my software is going to record me talking so I don't have to do the subtitles. However, it was a learning experience, so I might incorporate a few of those in a couple more episodes when I figure out how to do it a bit better. So this one's called Key to Freedom. Um, it's pretty highly rated uh, on ModDB, which is where I get these mods. Um, and it looks like it's got quite a story, so let's go into it. Mr. Wilkinson, the headmaster of Darwin Institute for Misbehaved Youngsters, has presented me to me a challenge. In response to my most recent efforts of escape, he promises me that if I accept and complete the task, he will allow me to leave the institute. All I need to do is find a key, a key with the unlock, a safe deposit box, located at the local bank. The key, of course, is situated in an old mansion. He won't tell me why the place has been sealed off and abandoned, or how I will be getting inside. But one thing's for sure, I won't let this opportunity pass me by. Sounds interesting. Um, so I'm using a different microphone than usual. Normally I just like wear my headset and speak through that. Um, but instead I'm using my blue snowball, which I've heard it before and it's better quality. So hope you'll um, appreciate that. <coughs> Loading screens. Just you and me in the darkness. Never mind. Ooh. Key to freedom. Take a look at Mr. Wilkinson's notes. I think I may have put them somewhere in my journal. Alright, young man. You went out of Darwin Institute, and I want that key. So what you're going to have to follow my instructions explicitly if we're both going to get what we want. I sent you out here to do exactly the thing that you're good at. Breaking in and out of, my, of a complex. My men may have prevented you from escaping Darwin Institute, but there is no one stopping you now from breaking into Ashbury Manor. That should make things easier for you. So go ahead, break into this abandoned mansion, find the key, and I'll give you your freedom. You got it. A bucket. Uh. Okay. Do I have to... What am I doing this for? Oh. Alright. Oh wow. That's really cool. Okay. I don't have a lantern. Uh, for some reason there's a blue light that comes up. I might have bugged it, but it's okay. Look, there has to be another way in. Uh... Anything in my journal? Okay. Another way in. Do I have to climb? Through some other area. Oh, no way! What a guess. Okay. Hello. Fixing on him, but I'm unable to reach it. Okay. No problem. -o. I really don't like this. Um, 
too dark. I need some light before I can progress. I can't continue without the lantern. Okay. Back up we go. This is quite tense, like... Um... What the fuck? Can I come back up? Why can't I continue without a lantern? I've got a rock. Do I have to move this and jump? I don't know why I can pick up rocks. I'm... Oh! Oh my god, that's actually so cool! Yo, that's amazing! This is so well made, I can already tell. Do I have... Oh, okay, half oil, that's fine. Nice. Ah. No, 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 no. Ah. There he is. That Asta. He's so fucking sexy. God damn. Okay. Sh -sh -sh. Can I have this first? Got a lad in that. No, no. That's so bad. Bitches! Always remember, when you get stuck, check your notes and mementos. It will help you on your quest. Oh, this is already creepy and already better made than, I think, at least half the custom stories that I've played so far. And I have some oil. Okay, it's all good. Man, so I just know follow more notes. Instruction note two. Once you make it inside, try and find your way into the entrance hall, where you find the elevator. You might also notice that the mansion has some well-lit rooms, though we don't know who's responsible for lighting the candles throughout the mansion. But if there's someone still living there, or here, then here there is a small chance that the elevator will be operational. If not, you have to find a way to power it. You're a smart boy, I'm sure you can figure it out. You got it. Okay. Everything's okay. Um. Whoa, it might collapse if I'm not careful. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. That was a mistake. Okay. So now that way. <clears throat> this is a big map. Oh, the elevator. But the stairs are out. Where do we go? In the big doors. No. Over here. Oh my 
guys. I can't pick you up, Pot. Oh no. What the? Nothing's open. Do I go up there? <laughs> right. Okay. There's so many little tiny things that like oh it makes me jump a little bit. Oh, but the one thing I can't deal with is getting chased. I hate getting chased. In the last um, custom story, um, was it Grunt uh, Gruntly Halloween? I got chased by that monster and I was screaming. Like, it's probably a good thing I didn't have my microphone on. I thought somebody was in my room. That's a fucking turn around. What a pussy. Ah! Sammy! Wait, wait, no? Sam? No? Sam? Ah! Pins. Thank you. Good guy, Sam. Good guy, Sam, giving me the key. My man. Can't take the. Got a knife. Goodness. Chair flip. Shit. No problem. On what's an up? What? Fuck. Hello. Oh. Twenty seventh October. 1878. The household appears to be under tremendous strain. The sudden illness of Lord Gregory Harrington IV appears to be taking its toll on everyone, especially Madame Lydia. She seems drained and exhausted. The severity of Lord Gregory's pneumonia concerns her night and day. I think she has observed the same thing I have. Lord Gregory is afraid of losing more than just his life. Neither him nor young Madame Lydia have any posterity to inherit Ashbury Manor with all its estates and wealth. Nevertheless, we are all exerting ourselves to make sure matters run smoothly. The servants are frantically trying to keep things in order, while Lord Gregory's advisers are taking care of county matters. Oh, how I miss the days when their father headed this household. Nothing was at stake, and everything seemed perfect. I certainly took that time of my life for granted. You sure did, buddy. Cutting cheese? Should I cut? I believe that's everything. There's no way, right? What the fuck? Oh. I need to find a key. Alright. You sons of bitches. Where's the key? Where is it? Wait, unless I can use the knife on a different door. I can't get it unlocked. Maybe the other door.
You can't get it unlocked. Stop being pussy. Unless. Oh, okay. Um, the note. Diary. Memento. I'm not seeing the apply. I'm out of oil. Yeah? Is there another? Ah. My man. My man. Can I open it from this side? No. Can I open you? No. Please give me some oil. Oil. Have I still got my dagger? Yeah. I'll read it. It's with a heavy heart that I pen these words. Lord Gregor Harrington IV has passed away. The physicians said that his added stress about Ashbury Manor accelerated his death. Why do men cling so tenaciously to their earthly cares and possessions? Madam Lydia's grief is deep, though I cannot imagine her what state she'd be without a dear, dear friend Peter. He has been a great source of comfort. Life will be challenging for Madam Lu Lydia now as the inheritance has fallen to her. She will be instated as the Duchess of the County and owner of Ashbury Manor. This evening, after most of the matters of the Duke's death were attended to, Madam Lydia had held a meeting with several of the best engineers and architects in the country. I found this rather peculiar. Heaven only knows what she has planned. Need oil, please, so I can feel safe. Oil, oil, oil. I need oil, I need oil, I need oil. Anybody got oil? Oil for me. Oil for Jets. Um, I'll get it unlocked. Can't get it unlocked. Can't get it unlocked. So there's something in here, possibly. seem like it does it and a sanity oh that's interesting um Wah! shit I don't like that. Who's playing music like a pussy? Okay. I must find oil so I can feel safe. Yes. There's safety in oils, guys. Safety in oil. Ah! Definitely no boxes. Alright, bitches. Let's fucking see what's... Let's see what's going on. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh, no, 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 senorita. Um, I don't know what, why I've got long rope. Do I just have to leave?
I feel tiny for some reason. Oh, fuck. Ow! 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 Oh, fuck you. I'm going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh. Uh, get me out. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. My sanity is just fucked. Like. My health is fucking great, though. I assume I'm gonna stand by this light. I think it helps your sanity. Let's look at the light. Look at the light. I don't think it's gonna help me. Let's do this, bitches. Not bad, huh? I'm still kind of a pussy. Yeah, this is really creepy. Ugh, I'm gonna take advantage of this loading screen and relax. Never mind. Ah, oh, you dropped the knife. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, no. I don't like water levels. Oh. No, no, no. To all employees of the Ashbury Manor Wine Cellar. As, As most, most of you know, there are rumors of a strange unseen being roaming, roaming, roaming around the cellar. Roaming I'd like to declare that these rumors are true. I understand that most, that if not all of you, true. may no longer decide to work here. Please trust me when I say there's nothing to fear. No the being has here. and will cause no harm Please to anybody. It commonly opens and closes doors on a rare occasion and pushes one over two barrels. Its footsteps also been heard around the cellar. Please note that I have brought this man up before Duke Harrington in order to work in this other contest as normal. We cannot let our wine production be slowed. Okay. Wonderful. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Stop wasting your lunch. November, Since the passing of Duke Gregory Harrington IV, Since several the of the cellar Gregory workers have left. Many of them believe there is no reason to continue several working here, especially with that unseen being left. roaming around. I feel that I too may, have, no may have to seek an alternative employment. Here, there are more pressing matters around Ashbury Manor around. as well that I need attending to. There is talk of a ghost roaming in the upper rooms of the manor, and many, including myself, believe that it is a ghost of Duke. Hence, wine protection is no longer a priority here. The health of Madame Lydia has not improved. Regardless, she has been the only one holding things together around here. Although, I think she may even tell us to abandon the wine production altogether. There are strange times just here. Our future is uncertain. I must mention, though, if it wasn't for Madame Lydia, heaven only knows what would become of this manor. Can I pick up boxes because I don't really want to walk on the ground on my own anymore? Nope, I have no choice. No choice. I heard walking, I didn't like that. I still don't like it. Fuck off. 
Oh no. Oh no, stop. Stop, I don't like that. You're gonna hit me, aren't you? If I jump down, you're gonna hit me. Like a bitch. No, 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 senorita. Nope. Uh, oh. It's not even stopping me. Whoa! Ha! Bitch! Oh! Yeah, what you gonna do about that, bitch? I'm taking this fucking plank of amazing, nice with me. So I could stand gracefully and not get murdered, bitches. Uh, give me the note. November, yes, then, Madam Lydia ordered yes, the stoppage of the wine production. Madam the cellar will now be closed. It seems as though my concerns of employment have been realised. Most of the men spent yesterday packing their things away. Only Harold and I are left now, finalising the closure. I've spent Most spare moments right here while I wait for Harold to fetch a pulley's aidus in our Only box Harold stacking. Once that is complete, I'll remain to check closure. that everything is in order and then lock up. It's been gone for an unusually long time now. I must, I must mention that of the unseen being. being. While waiting for Harold, I decided to check on a few things in the kitchen. I noticed a being following me. That is something that's never been done before. Even when I moved into another room, it is still following me. I'm starting to go uneasy about this being. I pray that once I have locked up, it does not follow me home. Yeah, got it. Oh, shit. Why am I... Uh, it broke. Hey, you can't follow me out of water, bitch. Wahoo! What? Have I got a hammer for? To get the crowbar? Do I break the barrel and get the crowbar? Hell to the yeah, bitches. Allowing great leverage. Are we going to be able to open the... <gasps> God. Maybe we'll be able to open the door upstairs. This area has no more use. I can't believe that you can't use a crowbar. Okay. Um, what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't really know. The hell? Am I missing something? Hello? Box. My oil is already running low. I don't need to really use it, I don't think. Oh, wait. Do I have to? Do I have to? Ah, chopper. Ow. Bitches. Unless I have to carry this. We're going up the stairs. That's where we're going. <laughs> Come on. I need the box. Where's the box? What 
to jump across. No. <laughs> Barely conscious. Okay. I, I need that box. I'm not gonna jump from the top of those, I'll die. Oh, I will jump. That was fine. Da, 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 da. Oh, well, that snapped into place like nobody's business. Do I have to put a crowbar in it? Aha! Aha! Maha! So smart. Maho! I reckon I can't go through there yet. Ah, okay. Hello. Shovel. Scoping. Scoping. I'm scoping. Alright. I feel greatly for my life. Oh. It seems as though I've angered, angered the, the unseen, unseen being, being here in their here cellar. In the cellar. Earlier on, I went to go look Earlier for Harold because he has not returned with the pulley. I was stopped at the staircase by the being. The it was growling at me. Something else at the I, I had never done before. I tried to make it a break for the staircase, but... Something else being knocked never done before. me over, then into a frenzy, and it broke, the supporting being causing the collapse of the task areas. Into the room and locked myself in. Here I am alone, my pen and paper are my only comfort. Perhaps the monster of being will get tired of waiting and move on to the other parts of the cellar. I might then be able to get out through the back door. Alright. Alright. Alright, shame I've got to power this. This is a friendly note to the so-called operators of the machinery. Make sure when starting up the machinery, pull the levers in the right order and position noted in the electric generator manual. On the chance that one of you will still mess things up, which I'm certain of, I've painstakingly installed a failsafe that automatically shifts the gears into their neutral positions. And please make sure there is enough coal in the furnace. Always check with Andy on the chance that you run low on coal. Asking the cook. Okay. You need more coal? Son of a bitch. Can I hit those bars with a hammer? I think I have to wind this up. Okay. Whoa. How much oil? Hammer? Hmm. As piggies. Yeah. Oil. Nice. I love me some oil. I love it. Ah. Oh, fuck. I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck? Where the fuck? Who the fuck? Is there no key? 
Oh, coal. Oh, I need coal. I understand. Let's go, bitches. Wah, bitch. Nice. We did it. I don't know the order. Lock these up. Um, do I have anything in my mementos? No. Journal. Then it was Yeah. Yeah. Yes! I did it, bitches. I did it, bitches. Everybody should be working now, bitches. Yahoo! Wahoo! I'm ready to go to the elevator. I'm out of this bitch. No! 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 No, 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 no. No, go! Yeah! Yeah, fuck you, yeah! Yes! 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 yes. Uh, no. Haha, <laughs> monsters can't climb! Fuck you. Elevator time, bitches. In the next episode. Thank you for watching this episode of Amnesia, the musical number. No, okay. Um, yeah, that was stressful. <laughs> um, gonna have to edit some of that out. Um, that took me way too long to figure out how to do. Thought I was searching for some notes, but never mind. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll put up part two probably at least within tomorrow next day uh, So I'll see you guys next time. Bye